What's up guys, another weekend and another race day back on the mountain bike today. This is round three of the Gorik one we've done a couple of weeks ago. It's at the same venue that we were at and it was a tough course. I think they'll mix it up a little bit, but it's going to be spicy. So just me trying to be quick on two wheels again, basically. Hoping for a better result than last weekend when I had my little off in the last lap, but we're going to go for it again today. And really, I'm trying to just build as much experience as I can this year, especially while the races are just for fun. But a big old bowl of oats made by the rocket to start the day. Obviously I can make my own oats, but every time she makes them, I look at her bowl, I'm like, oh, it looks so much better. So she's kindly whipped up some for me. You're gonna hit up a workout after this. Get them booty gains. And my race isn't till 1.30 and it is currently 10 to nine and I'm already kitted up, I'm ready to go. That is eager. But the plan is smash these down, have a pretty chilled day until race time, and then I'm gonna go out, practice lap race. Same again, I'm gonna be racing against Ben and all the younger riders that are bloody fast. So hopefully I can keep up with them. But my plan today is to try and actually go, the race is gonna be four laps. I wanna try and go hard on the first two. Even if I blow up, just try and push myself on the first two, try and be a little bit closer to the front, guys. If I blow up, I blow up, but that's what it's about. We live and learn. And it wouldn't be a race day without a double serving of breakfast, Biscoff cinnamon bagel as well, to wash down the oats. You've got to fuel up ready for these big, tough XC races. Your race whips had a nice clean. She is good to go. The rocket is about to work out and here, is my lovely DIY I've done? Oh, fear not. <laughs> I cracked the window putting blinds up and we've now got to get a new window. What a plonker. <laughs> Absolute plonker. But the bike is looking fresh. What are you training today? She said her legs are tired today. She came out with me yesterday for my pre-race leg openers. She had to do a six minute effort and a two minute effort. You should have seen her legs go. <laughs> I was leading, you were behind me. She went full send up the first climb and then it flattened off and all I could see was her like, shit, he's catching me, he's catching me. <laughs> Get it girl, get those gains. Woo. Oh yeah. I'm doing lazy man's. Lazy man's recovery. <laughs> look at, oh God, look at the camera. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh yeah, look at that booty. That's why she goes so fast up the hills, booty. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Get it girl. <laughs> But even sexier, look at that, oh yeah, look at that leg, Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you get that deep squat, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just about to have my pre-race meal before we head off to the race, and afterwards we're going for a barbecue and the rocket has whipped up. A Biscoff cheesecake. White chocolate. <gasps> White chocolate and Biscoff are oh, a little bit's fallen off. But look at that. That is going to be well earned after a bike race. That is diabetes on a plate right there. That's got some serious calories in. But pre-race meal going to go down and then I'll catch you at the venue for race time.
tough course, loamy, and there was a lot of climbing, wasn't there? I'd say there was a lot. Today's competitor, who is going down, I've told him I feel like I'm taking the wind today. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep up on the practice lap. How are your legs feeling, champ? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. It'll be even sweeter when I nail it now and beat him. <laughs> I'm going to lap one win. <laughs> Look at that service, he gets it gets a bike clean before <laughs> before the race. <laughs> Save some energy cameraman, I need you to do some filming. <laughs> we might lens. we might not get any shots here because he ain't got his lenses in. I he could in. could be oh you have? Oh he's got his lenses in, he might actually film us. <laughs> Well done, Giorgio. Keep some gas on. Out them corners. It's 15 seconds. You can do that. You can do that. Easy for you. Woohoo! Come on, let that bike slip around a little bit. Come on. 15 seconds to Tom. Now, come on, press some gas. Come on. Where's all that training? Yeah, well done, Ben. Keep it going. Keep the pressure on. Yeah? Yeah, that's the way to do it, Ben. Out the saddle all the way. Perfect. Woo. Easy. 18 seconds, 18 seconds. Oh yeah, you're looking really good, Ben. Flow, flow the bike. Beautiful. Keep it flowing. Seven seconds, good stuff. Out the saddle, now let's pump. Six seconds, six seconds, let's go. Keep it smooth. Let's go, Ben. He's starting to catch you. So keep the pressure on, riding really well, looking great. Yeah, that's good, Giorgio, good lad. Keep that up, well done. Yeah, Giorgio, put the pressure on. Put the pressure on, doing really well. Let's go now. You're in third place. He is catching you, but try one more big lap. One more big lap. If you put a strong lap in now, you should hold it. Nice and smooth, float it. Just six seconds now. Good lad, six seconds. Good boy. Good boy, keep the gas going. Well done. Oh, that's strong, real strong. Go Giorgio! <laughs> oh. Well done champ, destroyed me again. <laughs> I had him for about 30 seconds and then I heard an on your left George and I thought oh, I'll just let him through. I was going to take him out but <laughs> but I knew I couldn't stay with him and then when he got past me that was it. Goodbye. And that is a wrap on another race day, back on the sofa where I belong. Legs are absolutely hanging out, but I can slowly feel myself getting faster and faster each race, which is nice. I finished eighth, Ben comes third today, which is really impressive to think a 14 year old's absolutely kicking the asses of the adults, which is outrageous. But it was a super good race, fun, fast, lots of climbing and legs are killing now and we wrapped it off with a mega barbecue and also the Rockets cheesecake. Absolute 10 out of 10, best thing I've ever tasted. It was honestly phenomenal. Looking forward to the next race. I'm back racing a crit this Wednesday and then obviously mountain bike again next weekend. It is not ideal doing all these races, but for me, I'm just trying to get as much experience and I feel nothing pushes you as hard. Like you can train as hard as you want, but nothing will push you as hard as getting between the tape and just pinning it in a race. It is brutal, but it's going to make you fitter as long as you can avoid burning out by keeping the rest of your sessions nice and easy. But it's been great fun so far. Looking forward to getting stuck in the rest of the season and slowly getting faster each week. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.